Here comes Brady Singer maneuvering through the cameraman, making start number six, his third against the Indians. He's had two very good starts against the Tribe in the past. Should give him some confidence coming in. One ball, two strikes with two down. Salvi sets up inside and a strikeout. So Singer is sharp in the first with his fastball, and the Indians are down in order. Bieber coming out, making his seventh start, came off a win against the uh, Chicago White Sox, had one start against Kansas City earlier. It was his only no decision of the year, and he's 4-0 in his career against them. Last year's best pitcher in Major League Baseball, Shane Bieber will face Whit Merrifield. That is off of Jose Ramirez's glove, and he recovers and throws it away. Witt hustles for second, and the Royals get a break to begin the bottom of the first inning. How about it? Put the ball in play. Just got through telling you he didn't he didn't throw anything in the middle, and he did there. First inning. Let's see what they can do here. Merrifield moves up 90 feet to third, and Carlos Santana now coming up against his former teammate. Fastball, and he blew it by him right on the outside edge. A nice high heater made him go after it away. 69th strikeout of the year for and, Bieber. Yeah, not he could he couldn't do anything with it. Yep, struck him out on three pitches to end the inning. So Shane Bieber picks up Jose Ramirez. Bieber has never lost to the Royals. Getting more done, and that describes Hunter Dozier recently. And that is crushed. Deep left center field. Hunter Dozier goes deep to give the Royals the lead. My, oh my. Does he have some loud swings when he barrels? Look at that. That looks like a fastball or could have been a cutter. Not really sure exactly what that was, but it was sent a long way. Beautiful start for Dozier. And the Royals don't take the lead. Yeah, the one, two. Strike him out looking with a fastball. Boy, was that big for Bieber. Gets that second out of the inning and now a chance to get out of it without any further damage if he can get the top of the order hitter in Whit Merrifield. One two pitch. Got him looking with a fastball in the outside corner and Shane Bieber strikes out two more. Chance to answer right back now for Cleveland after the bottom of the order gets him a start. And it is a fastball over the inside edge. Hernandez argues with Angel Hernandez, but it was very close to that inner boundary, and there are two down. Yep, Blue KC pitch track shows you where that pitch was on the inside part of the plate. And that's into left field, deep, but playable, and that is the inning. So Brady Singer pitches around first and third and one out. Bieber's ready, checks second, comes to the plate. Swing and a miss. Fastball running up and away, and he got him again. Five strikeouts for Bieber. He has struck out Santana with a runner at third, one out, and now struck out Santana with a runner at second, nobody out. Royals want to come up with at least one here from the fourth. Runners go, and a late throw to second. They got him. Oh, baby. And he threw from his knees. That's a heads up play by Hedges. Hedges looked at third, but thought he had a better chance at second, and he throws out Taylor. That's back to the middle, but Jimenez is there, and it's in the dirt. Ryan O'Hearn scores on a throwing error by Jimenez on a routine ground ball, and the Royals lead 2-0. How about it? They'll take a break. Man, oh man, are you kidding? It's beautiful. You know, Bowers did all he could there, and Beaver saying, uh-oh. He's at third with two down, and Hedges strikes out. And that's five scoreless innings for Brady Singer. You kind of foresaw him having one of these tough starts because of the fatigue of having these tough starts previously. He's had some big matchups with number right. one guys. Solaire twice tonight has grounded sharply to short. Wow. There we go. There Into we go. the gap, left center, and up against the wall. Benintendi scores. Salvi's around third. He'll score. And Jorge Soler hits a two run double, and the Royals lead 4 0. And listen to the sweet music of the crowd. Boy, now that's a clutch hit. And he shortened up his swing and swung at about 75, 80%.
Just like what we just what we were talking about. Okay, there's a slider and he made a mistake. He hung it, but look how controlled the swing was. He even had a takeoff, a one-hand takeoff. Yeah, there you go. Just meet the ball. Look at how easy that ball jumped. And for sure, Salvador Perez with a good read but from first base says, I'm scoring. I want to get dirty a little bit here, too. It's 4-0 Royals. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball swung on and missed. So Dozier is down on strikes. Two down in the inning. That's the sixth strikeout for Bieber. Struck him out. He gets his seventh strikeout of the night. But the Royals get two here in the fifth to open up a 4 nothing lead. And the bat goes flying. And Angel Hernandez is going to say that it hit his jersey. Now, Ramirez did not react as if it had hit him. And Mike Matheny says, wait a minute, let's take another look at that. Nothing. Nope. And the Royals are going to challenge. They're saying it, it, it hit him. Boy, that, I don't know about that. Because by looking at that replay, the only contact, the only contact, possible contact, is with the bat. Yeah, the knob. There is no way, no way you can make an argument that that hit the jersey or the hand. That should be an out. Wow. That ball's hit in the air. Deep left center field. That's in the gap. That's going to get down and go to the wall. Scoring is Bowers. Ramirez right on his heels. They'll wave him home as well. Eddie Rosario delivers with a long two-run double to center field to get the Indians on the board, and they've cut the lead in half. Well, you slowed it down for Eddie, and he took you to left center field. And I got to tell you, that, that's their own fault. You walk the first guy, you hit the second guy, you leave a spinner up, and he does a nice job. And he's going to stay with Singer with two on and one out. And a pickoff play at second base almost got him. And they're going to call a balk. And this might get explosive. Cal Eldred is all over Angel Hernandez from the first base dugout. And so that was that was directed at Cal. And now you got two enormous men coming out at Angel Hernandez. And now Mike Matheny has been thrown out. Well, there was a little yeah. shift. Yeah, he had a little, little uh, shift in his legs before he actually turned and moved. Ground ball, nice stop at first. Santana will take the out. It's a one-run game as Eddie Rosario scores thanks to the balk. Yeah, how much did that help now? Now Brady Singer gets into it with Angel Hernandez. So he was ejected. Did he go? The appeal? He did. Bieber gets his eighth strikeout. So the streak continues for Shane Bieber. That is now 19 consecutive games with at least eight strikeouts. Well, he bounced this one. Or the, and you can see it was close. The right-hander's ready. Here it comes. A swing and a miss. Curve in the dirt. Hedges picks it up. Tags out Lopez. Nine strikeouts for Shane Bieber, including the last four Royals. Here's Captain Clutch. Jose Ramirez 0 for 2. Ramirez swings, drives one deep right. This ball gone! Into the Royal bullpen! And he's given up another blast. Jose Ramirez ties the game at four. And the Indians coming from behind again in the late innings. Josh Naylor leads it off and the payoff pitch. And it's swung on and hammered to right. Down the line it goes. Gone! And the Indians have a 5-4 to four lead. And Wade Davis just got beat with a pull side homer. Incredible. 27 strikeouts in 13 innings for Karinchek, who has already saved two games this year. And a ground ball to short. Jimenez. The throws on the money. Book it. The Indians have won the first three in Kansas City. They run their win streak overall to four in a row. And they have now won eight of their last ten.